Come along with us tonight on the pinnacle of the Day of the Dead festivities. In our last video of the series, we were in Morelia, a UNESCO heritage site. And today I have a treat for you as we'll be leaving Morelia for Pascuaro and Hanitio Island, home to the Purapecha and one of the premier places to visit for Day of the Dead. We'll be taking part in one of the largest celebrations in Mexico on Hanitio Island for Noche de Muertos activities. So our story will start in Pascuaro and we'll be going across the lake tonight to the famous island of Hanitio. So you have to know that we tried the first pier in town and it was well over 100 people wrapped around the ticket area and we just decided to leave that place and go to another pier. So Definitely here we are people. about halfway there and we're really hoping it's a less of a wait. Buses. And <laughs> well, by the looks of it, we still have a lot of people coming in. And mind you, it's only 10 p.m. So we're hoping that less people will be walking this far down. That's what we're really hoping for. Yes. So stay tuned. So we're about to find out. And you know, sometimes you just gotta walk between the buses. Reminds me of the truck stop days. All these diesel engines. Yep, yep. So we're at least getting in front of 200 people. So we'll take it, we'll see. So after making it in and walking to the booth, we found out that you actually had to get the tickets from the entrance area. It was a little hidden, but at least we went back to grab us tickets. And luckily it was pretty easy to get through and really only took about 10 minutes in all. So total win. And so as you board the boats, they take about 20 to 30 people and it's going to take you about 25 minutes to get across the lake. And as you can see here, we're coming into Hanitio Island that's lit up on Pascuaro Lake. Cemetery. Uh, the cemetery, the actual cemetery. I think we should go first. Score details? I'm not really sure I approve of that idea. You know? Of course not. So we have made it. Um, yes. I don't know if we're gonna make it. I don't know if we're gonna make it back because, well, the line is probably as long as the pier and the line that we was trying to get around seems to have doubled since we made it to the island however you know uh it's, it's all it's all for the love of it right um so the significance of this island i'm waiting on you i'm waiting on you I know, I know. So, uh, you're here to correct me. So, the significance of this island is from the Pira Pecha. So, they inhabited these lands hundreds of years. They've been here uh, before the Aztec, or right around the Aztec, when they settled in central Mexico from the Nayarit region. So, that being said, here is known for their traditional Day of the Dead activities and celebrations, right? So tonight's Noche de los Muertos. And so we're going to show you around for that. But the, the cities, the island itself is known for their fishing. So they have their butterfly nets and the butterfly is uh, significant within the Peter Pecha um, civilization society. So with that being said, we're just going to go around, uh, take a look here at the very top. I don't know if you can see it in the background here. He is Jose Maria Morales, which Morelia was known for. So, yeah, let's go see what we can find and get into. And so now we've made our way up from the pier and just followed the signs for Entrada, Panteon. Um, so this is where it's taking us and we're getting a top-down view of the cemetery. Fun fact is the line actually formed just a little ways down the stairs from there. Super is not 
as you can see is. Yeah, it is. And yeah, we stood there for over an hour and a half. There were two other lines converging, so we just decided to skip it and make it up to the top of the island to have a look around. And I must say, these steps are uh, these steps are straight up the hill, like you're literally walking up a steep incline. So just beware, I was out of breath just from elevation and all the steps. And just so you're aware, once you get to the top, there is a 10 peso entry fee. And now we have made it to the top to the famous and grandiose Morelia statue. And it is from here where you have an amazing view of the lake. So let's have a look around. There are all kinds of shops and food places. So tons of things to get into. And inside of this huge statue of Morelia is actually an art gallery and you can climb up to the top so it's lined with murals we got a little bit of a shot of it but the line again was just just way too long so instead we decided to walk around and take in the sides in the surrounding area where you can see the boats that are ferrying people to and from the islands all throughout the night and also they take in on the games But watch out, they can be a little dangerous. And so this was about it. As you can see up to the top to the right is where we were initially positioned. Fortunately, we found a spot here to be able to take a little bit of footage, but we never did get to make it down to the bottom. It was gonna be about two to three hours just to get into the entrance. It's such a small cemetery. If I had to do it all over again, I would say to go to Tsing Tsing San and over on the mainland. But nonetheless, the experience is nothing like I've ever been. And with the celebrations taken in, well, as more people were traveling in, it was time for us to kind of mosey on down and start to make our way out. And as you can see, there's plenty of stalls with tons of souvenirs, Peter Pecha items, and just about anything you would need. Because the festivities here will be lasting all night, so it's always open for the Night of the Dead. I have to say, it's a lot better walking down than it is walking up. This place was packed. It truly is thousands of people that ascend to the island just for one night. And that is Anitio. Anitio. And we're going to cut here because uh, Elisa has a spe special announcement to me. <laughs> Which is just don't go. I don't think the lines are all that fun. Like, I am not a person who likes lines. Like, I mean, if you have the don't use the general line. Uh, 
Which one are we using? We use somebody. Somebody. I said with, with the retard. Yes, we did say that. But yeah, don't use the header outline. Like, my god. We accidentally s sat in their line trying to get off the island for over an hour before realizing that we were in the wrong line. So, of course, lights are out. So, let's catch back up tomorrow. <laughs> It's been a long night. It's 3 a.m. for me. It's going to be 2 or 3 before we even get back in. So. And with the night gone, the dance of the old man, which is a traditional folk dance from the state of Michigan and is meant to be humorous. We'll leave it here and don't forget to join us on our next adventure where we're leaving Zihuen and going into Pazcuaro and ultimately ending up in Uruapan where we'll be planning to see a volcano. Until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you there.